ass and my stomach been hurting. Chickens been jerking. These niggas is earthless. Toddlers are twerking. Business is booming. People is dying. Corona, or 5G. That's probably both. My nigga died. I make the bitch that I'm with fuck a ghost. We not gonna help with the digging. I hope that my dog get her pregnant. None of that rhyme, but it came out fine. Like the paint didn't smudge and the baby didn't die. They buying pampers with money they owe. Kidnap the baby, won't change her no more. Your head in the clouds, my head in them hills, my head in the books. I never ran for the hills. I meet them rappers. Got that boy beard in my beard. I feel like I'm harder now. The nigga in Houston, yeah, the one with the beard and shit. This why I'm weird and lit. Really more weird and lit. Fuck it, I'm weird as it. Ooh, everything nice. Chain wash shit all bright. Just took a one hit a dike. She hit me the other day and I'm like, Sheesh. Hello. Good. Where well, I'm at this uh, evening. But morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. Uh, right now we're on a standby. Uh, I cannot get the diamond torque burger off. So I find I can use the LML torque burger. So right now I'm gonna hunt for one of those. I'm going to upgrade to the L LP5 um, cooling uh, oil cooler. Uh, I don't know what's going on. This weed is not crazy. So I removed the rails off the truck. So those are off. Gonna find out. I bent the um, the cab mount bolts, the cushion bolts. So I bent those. So now I have. I ordered new ones. So we're going to put those on to the truck. So that way my cab is gonna slide around. I don't know if that's a thing, but hey, better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna put those on, and then. That's pretty much all I got for right now. Like, so I'm waiting for parts. The G35 is uh, still getting work done to it. So it's gonna be a while so I find it. Right now I'm looking for another 240. Or I'm looking for something rear wheel drive. And it's probably gonna be 46. So every 240 I found is clapped out. Don't have a title. Um, or it's overly priced for a shell. So right now I'm on a standby on. I need to find something. I don't know if some of y'all remember, some of y'all do remember, but I'll go to my VR6 last year. That's currently just sitting and chilling. So I need to find a shelf and going real wheel drive show preferably. I had a CD09 sitting over there in the corner, ready to mate to the VR6. So as soon as I find a shell to go in, I started getting the mounts and everything made so that they can bolt in. And then I can start doing the work on all that as well. But as of right now, I'm on standby. Like I said, I'm looking for a 240. Haven't had much luck finding one. I found one I wanted, but things didn't go right with it. And I found another one I want, but the guys are answering my messages. So it is what it is. It's probably not meant to be. I really don't care. Like I said, I'll get an E46, drop that into the shell and make it happen. Like I said, I want to slide with this uh, VR6. I got so much money tied into it. I was getting ready to sell it for like 1800 bucks. No one was buying on it. Nah, I'm glad it didn't sell because now I start realizing it was a dumb idea. Because the VR6, I have over $3,500 in that. Just in machine work, the uh, heads, the pistons. So I would have been losing. And I probably would have been upset with myself for even doing that because, like I said, I have so much money tied in that motor and why let somebody else enjoy it? And I don't even get the full benefits out of it. So I took it, took post out and everything, and I'm going to put it back together. So soon, y'all going to have VR6 content on the channel for all my ones that I found because the VR6 was supposed to go inside the Audi. Well, the Audi got traded for the uh, G35. My plan was, I was supposed to get another car with the uh, G35. It was an A4, it was a drift A4 on top of it. So my goal was to turn that into the drift chassis. Um, the guy was like, well, it's gonna cost too much to have both cars sent up to North Carolina where I'm at. So I told him I was like, just bring a G35, but when a drift car, I don't buy a billion euros anymore. So that's when I put that up for sale. Um, the 
reason I didn't put it in the S4 was because all the S4 needed was turbos. So that'd be dumb on my part. So it is what it is. Things happen. Like I said, if I find a rear a clean rear wheel drive chassis to drop it in, I almost bought an IS 300. I kind of slept on that deal. Now I wish I didn't sleep on that deal. I wish I would have. Uh, I wish I would have jumped on it when the time was right, but hey, it is what it is. So right now, like I said, I'm looking for, I want an S13 coupe. I keep buying the hatches, but the thing is, when I find the hatches, they're clapped out, they're beat up, and if you want too much for them, well, they're nice, and somehow, no one has a title for it. So, there's that. I found a coupe that I really like. Same thing, I found two coupes, actually. Both owners don't got titles. It is what it is. Now I'm thinking about just getting a E46 and making it baller. Have a VR6 in it. But these are the new bolts that we're getting ready to put in for the cab mounts. Tomorrow we might do the um, the uh, oil pressure gauge because this truck is oil pressure gauge. So. It all depends on what I'm doing. It'll probably be tomorrow. It'll, it'll be sometime this weekend. So this video will probably go on until Monday or Tuesday. But. Slightly bent. Okay, it's definitely right here. So this bolt is bent. So whenever the step rails are on, uh, people stepping on them and everything like that, they bend. So the more weight they had on there, it was causing stress and it caused them to bend in and out. So with these new ones, like I said, I don't got step rails anymore. When I next step rails I do get. They're going to be um, the um, the power, the amp step rails. So we're going to those next on here. And those have been my goal since I got the truck from day one, and well, we're going to make it happen. Tighten. I get the torque for this, and then that'll be tightened up. So I'm over torquing, under torquing. Next. started and pulled out i just had him in to keep the anything happen to the truck like if somebody was to bump it or whenever i was pulling the uh pulling the uh the rails off that it didn't cause anything crazy to happen redo the bushings and everything on the body eventually um, I might take it to my buddy shop in uh, Moorhead to have it done so he can pull the cab off it shouldn't take long for us to do I'm just about to say just gotta pull the cab up just a little and I 
might be able to stick to these. Pull these mounts and put the new mounts in. I want to do a polyurethane bushings. And that'll make her ride a little bit nicer. Tim, what you think about this question? Why are you looking at? Seeing that, I was like, it has come out. So, I'm about to stick them back in and run the risk on breaking. Because that's usually what happens when you got bent bolts, hardware, and all that stuff. So, place them. Not to worry about it later. You were lazy. And that is let it ride. But I'm not that type of person. Let something like that ride.
figure out why.
How is getting out of the torque wrench? <laughs> Just like that, cat my bolts are all in. The security again. I haven't been touching this truck because I've been kind of worried about everything's not lining up, slides, whatever. You don't want to take a chance. Probably won't do it, but hey, we just have to start. But that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. I might just send this one out separately because I know I haven't vlogged in a while. It's been raining. I haven't been able to drive the skyline like I wanted to. It's just been been very crappy around here lately uh but hey something something better than nothing right so uh so it's friday so you might see it tomorrow which is saturday and then i might try to get my video um on the old pressure gauge up try to route that get it all ready because right now i got it pretty much ready like I said, I just gotta clean that little hole that's gross. But, first gonna complete this video. Until next time, catch y'all later.